Alright guys, hello and welcome to the second tutorial for Ableton Live 9 Lite. Today I'm just going to be showing you some basic stuff you can be doing with uh, the audio effects you have available in Ableton Live 9 Lite. And I'm going to be uh, making a sort of a very basic build up using audio effects that you can sort of mimic. And yeah, it's got a sweep and it's pretty basic stuff, it's just few it's it's cool it's it's a good way to do it especially when you've got very little uh very little audio effects here so anyway first we're going to be showing you how to use the auto filter now you don't have for a sweep you need a noise like a white noise some form of uh bright you know type noise um and you don't really you don't have a noise generator for um ableton live nine light so I'm just going to be using ANA, which is a, a well I paid for it. It's a, it's a you have to buy the synth, but it's definitely worth it and it's very cheap. Just, yeah, doesn't really matter where I put the note. I'm just going to change it to a noise anyway. Uh, noise has no pitch, so um, no matter where you put it on the uh, piano roll or keyboard, um, it's got no pitch, so it won't change. Loop that. I'll go change it to noise. Plus, we've got to turn off the saw wave there, turning down the voices. The other oscillators aren't on. Change it to a chime noise. It's one of my favourite uh, noises in A and A. Sounds pretty good. That's it. Without a sort of a filter sweep on it. I'm just going to name this sweep and I'm going to add the auto filter and uh, make it sort of rise up. So here it is. This is what the auto filter does. What I'm doing is I'm just changing that little value there. You can see it scrolling along the Hertz value. Um, so what that's doing is it's making it lower, so higher, low. That's what I just did then. If you go to the right, it goes to the high end. Go to the left, it goes to the low end. So the filter I've chosen is a low pass filter. So the low, it's going to start at the low end and let the lows through first. And then usually you'd cut it off and cut off the highs. And that's why it's called a low pass filter because the lows will pass through. But if I went over to the right, it will um, it will include the highs in that filter sweep as well, which is what we want. So I'm just automating what I'm doing right now. So what you want to do is you zoom in very close and that red line you see down the bottom, you're going to want to click on that and you get the little dot and you drag the little dot up. So you see what, you hear that, what happened there. You'll be able to hear it slowly now. There you go. It's pretty, pretty basic, but I like the sound of it. To make it curved, which is what most sweeps are, you hold down ALT, uh, the ALT key, and click that line and drag it. Yeah, it's pretty useful to be able to curve automation like that. That's all we really need for that. Just I'll show you the other filter types. There was a high pass, band pass, and a notch pass. So the second one is high pass. Third one is a band pass, and the fourth is a notch pass. They all do different things, let different sounds through. You can also add an LFO on here. I would never usually do it, but I'm going to try it out today, see how it sounds. Could add a nice little effect. You can hear it sort of phasing there. Going to change the rate. You can, yeah, you can definitely hear that now phasing like that. So I think I'm going to try automating that rate to uh, see if we can get a cool effect out of that. So I just clicking that little plus adds that automation into its own lane, just makes it easier to see. Um, you can see it all the time if you want. So I'm going to zoom right in again, click on the dotted line, zoom out, Gonna do it again over on this side. So 
Gotta get him running close. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of liked it better how it was before. I'll just have a little play around with it. See if we can get anything out of it. Sounds kind of good. It'll do. Yeah, so I wouldn't I wouldn't normally do that to my sweeps, but I tried it out today just to sort of show you how how it works and how an LFO base a basic LFO can work. Uh, so what what the LFO does is it just it just modulates it, as you can hear. It sort of makes it bounce around a bit. On I don't really know how to explain it. It just sort of gives it. It gives it a bit of maybe movement is is the word I'm looking for. It gives it a bit of movement. Anyway, coming up next, we'll just bring up a another good old combo F. To see what we can do with that. Just the chord. Now again, the combo F is free, so yeah, if you want it to use, I would I'd never use it really, but. You know, I'm finding ease for it in this tutorial. It's been in both my videos so far, so could be useful. Just gonna have a play around. Just when I'm duplicating like that, I'm just doing controls, Control D, uh, on, and then yeah, you can just drag it along like that. And that'll do. Bring the loop point back a bit. Uh, loop brace, sorry, not loop, loop point. Anyway, we've uh, muted the sweep as well, so we don't have that really annoying us every time where, while we're working on this. And uh, we'll show you what the chorus does, so you can definitely hear the difference there. Chorus off, chorus on. Just sort of, it just phases it, gives it a nice thick sound. See, that's the sort of effect we're going for there. If you could hear that, we'll do it again. That sort of build up. So what, when I'm dragging that dot, I'm just changing the amount and rate, which you can see at the bottom of the chorus here, the amount and the rate. So now I'm just going to automate that in like I did last time. And uh, pretty, mu pretty much the same automation shape it'll be. So again, this is another modulator. So it sort of, yeah, gives it a lot of movement. I'm going to just fill around with this again. I still like it better how it was. That's pretty good. Kind of slows down towards the end. Own lane. Click that arrow that just hides the automation. You can click it again and it'll show it again. Uh, it's important you click that little lock button, unlock button, when you're moving these around. Because if you want it to lock in place, it will stay in place. But if you click the unlock, you can move it and the automation will move as well. So if you don't click that lock button, the automation moves when you move it. If that makes any sense. And 
and that's how it sort of sounds, really basic, probably wouldn't use it in one of my own songs, but there you go.